Look, you have to understand that to turn on a girl, it's not even verbal. 70% of communication is nonverbal, meaning that when you're engaging with the girl, only 30% of what you're saying is actually turning her on. What really matters is your body language. What are you saying with your body? That's why today, boys, I'm going to show you seven body language secrets that you should deploy to turn on any girl, starting with number one. Appear smarter. Women love intelligent men. You're more capable, you're more successful, you're more mature. At least that's the appearance you're giving off. And look, when trying to appear smarter, there's little nonverbal cues you can use, right? Like you could be reading a book on the subway or in the park. Another powerful one is wearing glasses. There's been multiple studies that have shown that when a guy wears glasses, especially reading glasses, you increase your visual or perceptual IQ. People just think that you're smarter just because you're wearing glasses. They think you're more successful, they think you're more mature, they think you're more capable. And this is why I always tell you, boys, a good pair of frames everyone should wear. And look, not everyone can wear reading frames, but everyone can wear blue light blocking glasses. Ours from Jade Black don't have prescription, and instead, all they do is a clear lens with protective technology that protects your eyes from digital harm from your computer, from your phone, from your tablet. So the cool thing is that our glasses absorb all the blue light, which is harmful for your eyes, and also don't allow you to sleep. And now, not only is it functional, but you're also looking smarter. You're setting the tone for the type of man you are. Boys, if you wanna look more attractive, if you wanna look smarter and functionally want something that protects your eyes, you need a good pair of blue light blocking glasses. I'm going to have a link down below to my favorite pairs, which are the Toms, the Deans, the Nicholas, and the Nomads. These, in my opinion, are the pairs that just on average make men look amazing. They're masculine, they're strong, and they're super stylish. If you guys wanna check them out, I'll put all four in a bundle, and if you guys check out the bundle, I'm gonna give you 30% off, or you can buy them individually, but if I were you, yo, buy all four pairs, you have them on rotation, you look good all the time. Two, make yourself bigger. It's no secret women love dominant men, men that appear bigger or be, appear to be stronger because they feel a sense of protection. But more importantly than that, no matter your stature or your weight or whatever it may be, looking or appearing as big as possible is a sign of confidence. Most of the time, when you're uncomfortable in a social situation, you'll try to hide away in a corner or make yourself as small as possible to go unnoticed. What I want you to do is be noticed, right? I want you to be in the middle of the room. I want you to engage with everyone, and when you do stand, I want you to stand shoulder width apart. This is what you call the power pose. It's your largest position where you look strong. You look like you have a strong base, and I want your shoulders pinned back. I want your head held high and your chest out. This is gonna give you the largest appearance possible to make you look as confident as possible. Talking about that, number three, expose your chest. When I say expose your chest, I'm talking about when you start wearing clothes and it's not as cold, I want you to wear clothing that shows off your pectorials. Look, this area is super sexual. So when you're drawing attention here, you're increasing that sexual energy when you're having a conversation with another person. What you also want to do is put on a necklace. I've talked about this before. A necklace will draw in attention to this area, which is hypersexual. Number four, slow down your body movements. This does two things. One, it shows you're confident. A lot of times when you're nervous, you're ticking, you're, you're moving around, right? You're, you're, you're jittery. What this does is it makes the other person nervous as well. Again, remember, it's not just what you're saying. It's your, it's your nonverbal cues. When you're jittery and nervous, you're going to make the other person jittery and nervous and think, like, why is this guy all over the place, right? You want to slow down your movements. When you do, you make the other person feel calm, but you yourself look like you're in control. You look like more of a confident man, and more importantly, you make them feel comfortable. See, you want to gain trust with the other person. When you're all over the place and, and, and you're really jittery and it's not a person you know, you're going to make them uncomfortable, which makes them lock up. Number five, show your left side. Everyone has a good side. And the good side is usually the side that's more symmetrical and or more structured. And for whatever reason, scientifically, our left side tends to be better. It's more structured, more balanced. So therefore, when you're having a conversation with somebody, it's always great to stand almost on a 45 degree angle. You're not standing straight on where they can see all your asymmetries. You can stand on a 45 degree angle. You let them see your left side. You can even bring your chin up a little bit so it looks more defined and you look more attractive. Number six, sway your shoulders. When you walk, you want to walk with the sway in your shoulders. This, again, shows this smoothness, this control. See, a lot of times when you're walking in a crowded room or in a position where you feel uncomfortable, think about like, like when you're bowling, right, and you're up and now everybody's sitting down and you have to do that awkward walk back, like those situations, right? Most of the time, you'll like, you'll like cave in, you'll look at the floor, you'll, you'll, you'll walk away because you feel so uncomfortable. I want you, again, slow it down, right? And when you slow it down, I want you to sway your shoulders a bit. Right? This is what shows confidence. It shows that you're not nervous or you're trying to hide away, and this shows power. And finally, number seven, touch. 
Look, when it comes to body language, the most powerful thing you can do is touch another individual. And again, with consent, as you're having a conversation, and you'll be able to read body language, right? The more you understand your own body language, the more you can understand other people's. This is why it's so important. So when you're in a conversation with the girl, you'll be able to read her body language. You'll be able to understand what she's thinking, what she's feeling, etc., and know when to act on the touch. When you do touch her, and it doesn't have to be super crazy, shoulder, hand, lower back, anything of that nature, which is like super innocent, will send butterflies and chills down her spine and pretty much seal the deal. If you do everything right, you've turned her on.